Students nowadays are not always the jeans and jumper stereotype we're all used to. In fact, outside Bristol University's Wills Building, any lunchtime, it's often a parade of middle-class fashion. It's a place to see and be seen, and they call it Wills at One. Wills at One. Wills at One. We're all trying to avoid it. We're running. We've got two minutes. This is a place where, where people hang around to see and be seen, yes? It's a trendy place to be. Very trendy. You should find some very trendy clothes. You're extremely well-dressed, expensively dressed, in fact. Is this all on the ground? Uh, no, it's not on the ground at all. It's on my father. Can you tell me about Wills at One? What does that mean to you? Wills at One? So when I come out of a lecture and I'm going to lunch, I meet people here before I go to lunch. Do you uh, tend to hang around outside this building over lunchtime and see people and be seen? Oh, no, 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 certainly not. No, not with that lot. Could um, I just ask you about your coat? That's a Crombie. It costs a lot of money, doesn't it? Um, All out of the grant? No, 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 no. I fought for this in the Harrods sale. Some people say you were poseurs. Well, I've never seen myself posing anywhere. <laughs> ah, so How would you describe them? Are they the, the in crowd at the university? Rah-rahs, non-such lot, uh, the wills at one mob. Uh, we're not really actually. dressed for the wills at one scene, are we? I mean, we haven't got the Well, way. how should you dress for the I wills at one? I think you should wear mini skirts and leg warmers, really. The Benetton rig out that we have. <laughs> Bright yellow trousers. No, that was yesterday. Yeah. Do, do you always dress like this for lectures? Oh, yes, yeah. so I try to have a new flower for every day of the week, yes. It's a, a plastic flower, isn't it? Yes, it's a, a plastic or orchid, in fact. It's for a special reason. Special yeah, reason. you've got to throw it to the young ladies, you see. Of course, they are all poseurs, but not everyone is so keen to deny it. What, for instance, do you think these people do in their spare time? Pose. <laughs> yeah, just walk around, stretch around the place. Showing ourselves off. If I'd have known, I would have made myself look even weirder, you know. Is, it, <laughs> is this what she would normally wear for an evening out? It is, actually. Yeah. People dress up how they like to dress, and whether other people call it posing or not, is that to them? Oh, uh, yeah, I get lots of comments, you know, about the trousers and that, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. At least part of the idea is to attract attention, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, you Thanks like being, me. like having people stare at you on the oh, bus? Yes. Well. yes. Can I ask you what you think of posing? Well, that's one. <laughs> yes, they're all right. I tend to just mingle among the normals, I don't know. So I stand out more. I think if I went everywhere where everyone looked the same, I wouldn't stand out. <laughs> While there are many people who consciously choose to be posers and say it loud and proud, there are hundreds more who do it but never admit to it. I don't think that I'm a poser. <laughs> I don't see anyone calling me a fake or thinking of me as a poser because I'm not posing as anything to stand what I am. Posers just, they're not really into what they're wearing, they just wear it because, you know, they think everyone else, I don't know really, I, I don't class myself as a poser, I just enjoy dressing the way I do. I can see you're trying to hedge around this question, aren't you? <laughs> I think lots of university students are posers as well, so I mean, I mean, what's poser? Just sort of, just walking around town looking good and as long as you think you look good, then you're posing. I think people just call you a poser because they don't really know what you're all about. Just a uh, normal person growing my hair. Yeah. You said surfer, surfer, surfer rest restaurant, yeah. Because I took my locks last year over when I was surfing. I went travelling through Africa, hitchhiking with a surfboard and surfing here and there. This is the Coconut Grove, a cocktail bar right in the centre of Bristol. It's a place created for people to exhibit themselves. It's been described as a poser's paradise. So what kind of people actually come here? Do you think it's a nice place to come and be seen? I think so, yeah. It's quite a trendy sort of be looked at some place. Bit of posing. Bit of posing, yeah. Well, if this is somewhere makeup, who's dressed differently to them, let's say poser or trendy, to wear a suit or something. Why do you do it? Why? I feel good. I feel comfortable wearing a suit. That's the main reason why I like to wear a suit. How would you describe a poser? Like? A poser? Yeah. Someone who dresses up to be looked at and to be looked at and to get admiring looks. I don't have a three-piece, but looks feels and looks better. I think anyway. It's a sort of forties gangster look, isn't it? That's what they say. Al Capone, etc.
I like dressing up in good clothes, but not to be sort of trendy clothes. I like to look, I like to look smart. Do you like the fact that you get lots of uh, looks in the street? Oh, and yeah, so on? yeah, it's great looks. What do people say to you? Well, they just stop and say, up. What was that? You know. You enjoy dressing up, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> and uh, do, when you when you walk along the street, do a lot of people look at you? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I think everybody tries to outdo yeah. each other. Don't yeah, they really? tries to dress really trendy, you know, in the latest clothes and things, and really stick out. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been accused of being a poser? Uh, not yet, no. But I'm sure, without me knowing, I have. And how many other flowers have you got? One for each day of the week? No, I've got about fifty in all.